Hey there! In this video we're gonna talk about average engagement time. It's a new metric in GA4 and it's basically all the time that visitors spend on your website divided by number of active users on your website. Uh, we have a separate video for active users and how are they defined in GA4. It will be linked in the video description but for now let's focus on the average engagement time. As you see GA4 says that it's average engagement time per active user for the time period selected and there is another metric called average engagement time per session which is obviously shorter because we divide it by number of sessions which is larger than a number of active users. Engagement itself is a superpower of GA4. There is a separate section in the lifecycle collection it's visible by default in the GA4 UI there is a separate section in it called engagement and if we look at for example pages and screens uh, report we'll be able to see that average engagement time is included by default in this report and it's a rather specific to a particular page so for example on DDU website the uh, home page receives a way shorter attention span versus some popular blog posts like referral traffic for GA4 or other blog posts. Obviously, login page is also the one that users spend less time on compared to other blog posts that require longer attention of users. If we want to define how GA4 actually measures average engagement time, well, there is a new uh, automatically collected event called user engagement that GA4 tracks every time when a user focuses away from a web page or they navigate to another screen or page, obviously screen for the applications and page for, for websites. Now, I already prepared a debugging session where I actually did navigate from particular pages on DDU website and here is engagement time milliseconds. That's the parameter of the event called user engagement and it's measuring in milliseconds how much time has passed between my previous engagement and the next one. Now it's interesting to see how you can create audience based on user engagement. It's not very intuitive but I will show you now how you can go about it. So you will create a new audience and then you want to particularly choose suggested audience of recently active users where user engagement is already loaded here as a event that you can build your audience upon and then you can count for example user engagement and say okay I want to see only users who actually had more than two user engagement events over let's say a particular time period of two days and then you will see that just a little less than 5% of all users actually comply with this condition. Now, if you try building an audience from scratch and trying to type user engagement here, you basically would not be able to access that event because it's automatically created event and uh, it's not available by default in the audience. I hope that you find this video useful. And if you did, please click the like button and subscribe because that will help us create more of the videos like this that explain these uh, GA4 concepts. Talk soon.